Hi there! Long time no see. Welcome back to another video on this channel. I've been gone for like a month, I think, and I never really intended to take a break like that. Um, and I feel really, really bad about it. So in order to get into like the swing of things again and get me back into the rhythm of making videos again, um, I thought I would film a quick little get ready with me. Um, I am just putting a makeup on for a date tonight with Douglas and I thought I would chat with you about like what I've been up to since I haven't been making videos and um, maybe some of the extra goodies, makeup goodies that I got from Christmas from like relatives and uh, friends and things like that. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. <laughs> I've been up to um, basically I didn't film for two weeks because I had finals um, to take care of that were super stressful I was taking five classes and I was working and greeting too so that took up a big chunk of my time and then I spent two weeks back home in Indiana with family it was really nice I made a kind of a promise to myself that I wouldn't really work on anything during this time, school related or hobby related or whatever, um, just because I really wanted to spend more time with family. I haven't seen any of my family members since the wedding pretty much. I mean, you know, I have family come help us move and stuff, but it's not the same when you can like relax and like um, have genuine conversations, interaction, and it's not just like go, go, go. So that's what I've been up to. And now that I'm back in Boston, um, I still have a lot on my plate to do, but um, I thought I would use this time too to try to film a video every single day. So that way, um, even if I'm not, because like filming and editing in the same day is really time consuming. And I thought if I get ahead and plan a bunch of videos ahead and film them, um, that I can edit them as I go, especially since I'm getting faster at editing and it won't be too overwhelming so that even if I do have a busy period with like homework and stuff, it won't be like too unbearable. Um, so that's my plan. Let me know if you think it's a good idea or like any sort of suggestions you guys might have in terms of time management. I consider myself pretty organized as like a human being, but even I get overwhelmed sometimes. So I could use all the help I can get. Um, for today's makeup, I'm going to be using these new brushes that I got as a gift. Um, they are IT brushes and they're sold in Ulta, but I got them in like this little wallet set. And this is a pretty cute set. Um, basically has all the essentials you'll need in here. I've used them once already, so they're kind of dirty. Um, but I thought I would show them to you today in case you want to pick up a pair for yourself. So right now I am bare faced and I'm just going to go ahead and put my foundation on. I'm still breaking out from all the sugar from the holidays too. Um, if anybody has any solutions for that, please let me know because your girl's been struggling for years. So I am using a flat brush to kind of apply my makeup today or apply my foundation. Um, the, you guys previously have made, seen me use a buffer brush, which looks like this one right here. So it's flat with like a lot of bristles and this is made to use in like circular motions to really get that stuff in there. Whereas this one's more of like, um, like a flat big scooper, I guess. Um, it's like a palette brush to kind of go like in little strokes like that. So you're not buffing the product into your skin necessarily, but you're letting it like kind of flat and which should be vertical sections. Um, is this is like two different techniques. Normally I actually use this one, um, but I switch over to buffing just to see if like which one I would like more. But if you guys notice like a huge difference, I don't really notice a huge difference in these techniques really. Um, but if you guys do, please let me know which one you like better in the comments down below. I'm normally pretty good about getting back to comments. Sometimes it'll take me a minute because I don't get the notification right away. Um, but I love interacting with some of the people that have already started interacting on my stuff and it gives me a lot of motivation to continue making videos and stuff. So this foundation is actually a little, I feel it's like a little too light for me still, um, but that's okay because I'm going to actually 
correct all that with um, contouring and blush. And I will show you guys how to do that in a minute. Um, but I think first let's do like the eyes and eyebrows before we move on to the skin. Normally I do my makeup in the opposite order, but I felt like switching it up today. And today's makeup, we're going to use this like Funko Pop palette. Um, I didn't even know they made these. Douglas collects Funkos and my brother does too, but I got this from my mother and I'm sure she probably got this from like Ulta or Sephora. Um, it's Disney Villain in Funko Pop and I got the... Evil Queen palette and if you look at oh, it comes with a mirror inside but these are the shades right here it's kind of more neutrally than I think the other palette because my sister got um was it Ursula I don't remember but she got in one of these palettes too and it had a lot more colors in it so first of all I'm gonna take should I do my brows first hmm Actually, okay, I actually switched up and changed my mind and I wanted to show off this like brow pencil I got. Normally, I never touch my brows ever. Um, I'll fill them a in a little bit if I feel like it. But it, I feel like this brush just feels good to me. Like it feels nice to do this to your brows. And I'm kind of happy that like bushy brows are um, like in style now. I mean, we've kind of gone through waves with like I remember growing up, I had to wax my eyebrows to the house. And then, um, like, fake, really big brows were popular. And I feel like they're um, swinging back towards, like, natural brows now, which I'm, like, into. Um, I think, like, I never really got into that makeup trend with, like, the big blocky eyebrow and, like, pinning off like that. Like, something that looks really artificial. It looks good on some people, but it does not look on good on me. My face is too small. Um... But I know people who've like even shaven their eyebrows off just to achieve that look. And like I never understood that either. Like I have people who are really close to me um, who have done that. And like most of them end up regretting it just because like your eyebrow hair doesn't grow back, you know. Um, and like I, I know you want to achieve like a certain look. And like plenty of people who are into really like over the top extravagant makeup looks have done that. But like also, if you want to do like a drag look, you can. There are techniques to where you can glue, like take glue and push back eyebrow hair and like paint over it. Like you don't have to sacrifice your actual eyebrows to get that look. So I don't know. My advice is to people is like, if you're thinking about it, don't like. I even know people who have done like designs on their eyebrows and like that it was really trendy for a while. But I just feel like. I love trends, but also you have to keep in the fact that they're temporary. And if, like, I feel like people should do whatever they want with their bodies, period. And, like, you should really want to experiment with your hair and everything else. But the difference is, like, the hair on your head grows back. The hair here does not. So unless you're willing to make that permanent change, like, just, I don't know. I wouldn't make a permanent change just for a trend, but that's me. This is also a new palette that I got for Christmas from Douglas. Um, it is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette. And I actually have owned a couple Too Faced palettes. I really like them personally. This one is my favorite though, just because it has all these like really warm neutrals and like reds, red, reddy browns and shimmers. And I just feel like with my eye color, it looks really, really good. And this is all I've been using during the holidays when I've been home with my family. It's really easy to do dramatic things with this and like subtle things too. So I really, really recommend this if you're looking for a palette looking like that looks like this one. Um, and actually, I've used some of these colors as blushes too, or I've used them to contour. And I'll probably do that today too, just because I really like warm tone um, skin skin products. And like, I feel like everything I've that I've seen now is like more cool tone and I kind of want to bring the warms back you know I'm over winter I'm done with it so okay so let's dive in to this color pop palette I'm just gonna take this brush here it's kind of fluffy and go into Wicked and oh geez okay <laughs> put that in my crease okay, see how nice that's blending too like these brush brushes are pretty good they're really soft and they're pretty good at blending things out and they're a good weight too I know this isn't a Pokemon themed video and I really apologize to people who are looking for that content after, you know, me being away for so long, but don't fret. I have a couple Pokemon videos planned. 
um, already, and if not, I will do more. Um, and I had some that were like really Christmas themed too, but again, I just never got to it. I feel like it's really hard to motivate yourself to um, get work done if you are surrounded by like, you know, family or friends or whoever this holiday. And like, my mother's house back home is kind of small. So it's always like, not a lot of privacy, it's pretty loud, um, but I, I mean, I wouldn't change it any other way because it feels really intimate, but it, it is very, very difficult to try to get work done, and I felt like if I was filming in there, you would just hear all sorts of noises, like it, it was not very conductive, um, but I had Christmas video ideas planned, and maybe I'll keep doing that in the future, so it, it should be fine, but I just don't have too much prepared. I wanted to kind of like transition back into... YouTube and I felt like this was like the most intimate way to do it. I'm actually going to use a couple of the clutters now I think. So I'm going to take nothing to envy here and put it on the inner half of my eyelid and then I will put a darker shimmer on the outside. Also I spent the majority of my holiday um, playing Pokemon, Sword, uh, Pokemon Shield. Uh, I finally got it. It only took forever. I'm still not all the way through with the playthrough, actually. I'm um, still on the championship tournament with, like, all the gym leaders and stuff. Um, so I have a while to go. But I, I have to say I'm really enjoying the game and what it is. Um, and I think I'll do a, a video about, like, my overall opinions on it. And I'll definitely do one about, like... All my opinions on the new Pokemon that were added because I feel like this batch of new Pokemon is pretty divisive. It's either there's there's some in there that you like a lot of people like genuinely like like Toxel, um, but I feel like there's also some in there that are quite divisive. And some of the ones that are divisive are some of my favorites. Um, so um, I'm interested to hear what you guys think as well on that. Although like I think I think my overall favorite one that. I have in that game is definitely Appletoon. I know that one was like definitely on my hypothetical team um, that I might have mentioned to you guys already, but it definitely like did not disappoint, period. Um, but now I'm just taking Scheming up here. It's like a maroony shimmer and I'm putting that on the outside of my eye. Yeah, my only issue with this brush is like sometimes like, I don't know if other people have this, but like my crease goes all the way down. Sometimes it's really hard to get into this like little corner here and I might have to use like another brush to do that, but that's okay. Okay, so now we are just gonna take a clean brush and kind of like blend it out to make it a little more even. This one isn't so bad, but this one needs a little bit of love. Yeah, we don't wanna over blend too much that we don't have that like distinction in the colors, but we also don't wanna like just leave it so stark that it just doesn't look like it belongs there. And um, that's my, always my pet peeve with makeup. Like, of course, it's like, you know, everybody's business how they want to do their own makeup. But it does pain me to see, like, when I see people do their makeup and they don't blend this part out. And it's just like a big blotchy, like, blue stain. Like, it literally looks like a bruise. Like, someone pushed them, punched them in the eye. I, I just can't live my life that way. I, um... And I'm trying to decide if I want something underneath my uh, underneath the eye too, and I feel like I should, but I'm not quite sure what because there's not anything really too dark in here. I might have to borrow from the other palette. Yeah, let me just try. To, I, I'm gonna say in this palette. Let me just take Wish and I'll do my eyebrow pencil thing. Um, and just get a little bit on here. Let's put them on the bottom of my eye like that, and I will blend it out for you too. So now that that's on there, I am just going to take the same sort of brush we used to blend the browns there and just go underneath my eye and try, ooh, and try not to stab myself, um, but just kind of go in and blend that out a little bit more. And actually this Wicked color is like a really pretty contour color too. Um, I know the other ones are shimmers, the ones that's a little bit darker, but let me see. 
think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm actually gonna use this shade as con contour shade too, and just kind of show you guys that like you can be really versatile with products. Like if it's safe to put on your eyes, it's pretty safe to put other places too. And like, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the eyeshadow all along my jawline and like in that little pocket there, and I'll probably blend it out with like an actual contour brush, but. And now with my new hair guy. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention I got new hair. Oh my god, I forgot. I'm sure I look very different in my other video. Um, basically, uh, maybe I'll do that as a story time later. But I tried giving myself a pixie cut, and it did not turn out very good. I mean, it wasn't horrible, but it wasn't very good. And I had to like it was right before Douglas's holiday work party, and I was supposed to you know it was his first party at the, his new job and I'm supposed to like you know help him kind of network and like look the part and all this other stuff and I messed my ish up so I, I was so depressed and we called a salon like as soon as it opens and they got me in and they fixed it and they did this to it and I really really like it I've been getting a lot of compliments it's very masculine like it's pretty short and, but um and I spent a lot of time my brother had really long hair over the holidays so we didn't look too much alike but like it's really easy like washing it is a breeze um I just put a little bit of product in sometimes like a little um gel to kind of toss a little around but I really like it despite it being so short I feel like I still look really feminine and I and that is always a plus for me um but yeah also I might look different again in a few videos because I think I'm gonna dye it. Um, normally when I do short hair, I dye it like a red color and that's Douglas's favorite. But the nice salon lady I was talking to, we've been going back and forth and we might try something funky and I was thinking about doing a coral color um, all over and, but she, she kind of thinks it would be cute just on the top. So we'll see, I'm still voting for the all over one. Um, and I was gonna do that, but also I saw just, I don't know how many have seen uh, Justin Bieber's new video for Yummy or whatever, but he literally has my hair and it's all coral and I was like, what the freak? I feel like, you know, and I, we we look pretty similar anyway, so like I didn't, I did not want that for myself, but here we are and I think that's just what it's going to be, um, that Bieber and I are going to be twinning for 2020, which is a great statement in itself. Um, I'm just putting, I'm actually just taking Soft and Sweet, this one as a blush and put it on my cheeks to blend with the contour. Okay, so I've been debating whether or not I should put eyeliner on. I don't think I'm going to. I think if I was going like out, 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 um, I wouldn't, but Douglas and I are just going to a sushi restaurant. So I don't, I think we'd just be coming back here anyway. So I'm gonna keep it fairly like chill and just put mascara on. But yeah, so my next video I'm gonna do is going to be like my top 10 ice type Pokemon. And I'm hopefully gonna film that tomorrow and get that up for you. Um, I'm still gonna release videos I think once a week just cause I like that pacing for myself. Um, I know it's gonna be hard with like views and stuff and trying to get things back on track, but I still like that pacing and I wanna set that for the rest of this year. Especially since like this winter, um, I'm also gonna be I am working, I'm doing data collection for one of my professors for his um, research on Chinese energy investment. And then I'm also working on my thesis, which if you guys don't know, is going to be about um, political memes and how they're used by embassies and IR and like basically um, embassies and governments and, you know, all these international bureaucratic bodies trying to navigate the internet, um, using it as a landscape where it's really the language of, like, the common person, and memes are an extreme form of that, and they've actually been, um, correlated with a lot of sort of, like, uprisings and sorts of events, um, like that, so that is what I'm looking into, basically, like, the crux of it is that, like, you know, you need to make, if you're going to have a presence online, you have to make yourself as relatable as possible if you want to gain genuine engagement and followers. Um, so basically trying to like show successful techniques that governments can adapt to. Um, and then, so I have thesis, I have that. Oh, I'm also trying to work on publishing an article. My advisor is helping me on that. He was 
a former British ambassador to Cuba, and I wrote a paper for him talking about Cuban energy markets and like the need for energy sustainability on the island and like a lack uh, a warning about depending on foreign governments for your energy resources like completely. Um, I don't know how many people know this, but there is a huge energy crisis right now in Cuba, basically as a trickle effect from the Venezuelan crisis because Venezuela supplied pretty much all of Cubans oil. And now there have been extreme measures. There's been planned power outages. There's been like um, policies enforcing carpooling to work um, to try to cut down on energy costs. Certain government businesses or like state businesses. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, but certain state businesses are shutting down for a while. It's really like affecting the people directly, but also the economy. And if the government wants to fix that, you know, I argued that. It needs to look towards other sources, and I listed a few, but I, towards the end, I kind of emphasized the need like for renewables, and that Cuba has a unique climate to adapt to like solar markets um, and like biomass or biofuel if they chose to do so. Um, so I'm editing that paper and adding more information to it, and then hopefully I can try to publish it too. I'm really just trying to get that coin and build up my resume and try to make myself a more viable candidate for the job market because I am stressed and I'm just like insecure, even though I don't think I should be. Um, but like there's so much competition where I live for like this kinds of things I'm interested in. And I've gotten like, I know I'm still in school, so that could be part of the reason, but I've gotten some like rejections letters, letters lately from jobs and it's been kind of disheartening to tell you the truth. And it gives me a whole lot of, like, imposter syndrome, even though I am doing well in my own circle. Like, like I'm working really hard, and, like, I nail interviews. Interviews aren't the problem, but it's literally getting in the front door, and I think maybe that, you know, I should work on my resume more or what. I don't know, but... Hi there. Well, um, I don't know what happened, but uh, my phone stopped recording, like, after a half an hour. Um, so I don't necessarily remember where I left off. Um, but I think I was just doing mascara and stuff, um, and just kind of talk to you guys about all my projects I was doing. Um, so I think, where was I? I probably talked about thesis and article. Um, but yeah, basically just to paint a picture for you guys, I'm a research assistant. I have my own thesis going on. I'm trying to publish an article and next semester I'm going to be a teaching assistant again for a different professor. Um, the same professor I did last time, but it's going to be a course on sustainable development. Um, so if you're interested in any of that or you want more videos about that kind of content or the, some of the work I'm doing, I'd love to post about that too. Um, this channel is mostly dedicated to my hobbies, but if some of this, that stuff trickles over, then that's cool with me too. Um, just to kind of give you guys an update about what I did, um, since it didn't record, that's fine. Um, I basically took this like ancient Urban Decay Vice palette. Um, this is like a lipstick palette and it comes with like a little brush and I got this forever ago. The makeup is probably expired. So if this isn't in circulation, like, or if you have this and you're probably like me, this is dangerous. Don't do it. Don't be, do as I say, don't do as I do. But, um, I did use, I'm sure they probably have a lipstick tube of this, um, the color disturbed for my lips. Um, I'm wearing a leather jacket. I want it to be edgy. So this is my edgy makeup. Um, and then for highlight, I actually went in and I didn't really plan on using two Disney Villains products, but I used the ColourPop and Disney Villains Hades highlighter. I actually really like this a lot. Um, it is, it's been, can you tell I like it? Um, but I've shown this in other videos. It's basically a gold highlighter with some red reflex in it. And um, I like it, but it's hard for me to use because um, I feel like it blends in with my blush naturally because it's a little too dark for me. Um, the reds kind of throw me off a bit, but I thought since like this is a very warm brownie look and a little bit edgy, it works here and I put that there and on my brow bone, um, my nose, just at the tip, you know, where you're supposed to highlight. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like checking out the mirror, make sure you guys can see it too. I can see with my light, but I don't know if you guys can. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I did. But yeah, I like this highlighter a lot. I bought it because like Hades is like my favorite Disney villain. Um, Viva Queen's nice, but Hades just has a lot more style and style and sass. Um, so yeah, I guess that's basically it. Um, this is the final look. What do you guys think? This is still like an in-between edgy kind of look. If, if you're like me and like my everyday makeup is pretty much like a similar eye, but like a... 
in a, a lip, but never really this dark, but it is still winter time. It's nighttime, a night date. It still works. And plus Douglas kind of likes this like edgier makeup anyway. Um, he, he's asked me to do like some, or he's shown me pictures of makeup he likes and it tends to be very like um, black smoky eyes, very dark, very vampire looking. And that's not me. But you know, this is like a step in between, so we're good. Um, but yeah, so I hope you like this look. Um, if you've done similar looks, let me know. Let me see. Um, I always read the comments down below. Um, or you can probably message me or follow me on my Instagram account at CricutCast. And um, we can talk there too and send each other pictures. So um, sorry this wasn't a Pokemon video. Um, but those will be coming very soon in the future. And until then, I'm going to go have dinner with Douglas. And I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.